Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over the recent update posted by Zion All and Gas, ticker symbol Z N O G. Uh, this happened uh, just recently. I got an email a few minutes ago. We're going to go over that and uh, take a look at the charts and see what's going on there as well. So, that's it's April 7th, 2022, MJ2 well in Israel. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I point at the well saying, hey, yeah, we're still not done. <laughs> just joking. Okay, so it says, dear uh, Zion supporters and shareholders, uh, Zion continues with the progress uh, to production testing for MJ2 well in Israel. Additionally, the process for evaluation of the well proposed by our geophysical team is actively continuing along with the arrival of technical staff from the United States, Canada, etc. We're eager to, eager to complete equipment inspections and run down hole for the final completion phase. Currently, I'm in Israel with Monty Ness, our CEO, taking part in meetings with the Israeli government and observing our crew at a key stage of our operations. We're looking forward to our supervisory committee meeting with the Israeli government along with local mun municipalities. Furthermore, the Zion team wishes to express our appreciation to many of you among um, among you that have contacted us regarding the situation in Ukraine and the border. Uh, none of these tragic developments have impacted our operations or contracted personnel thus far. Please join us in praying for peace. As always, we give thanks to God and our loyal shareholders and supporters who make our work possible. We will continue to provide material updates when we have relevant information to share with the public. Sincerely, Robert Dunn, CEO. So uh, we've been expecting an update and here it is. So uh, you know that it's still going on. Uh, but they got, <clears throat> let's kind of dive into a little bit further and kind of, I know I kind of read through that uh, pretty fast. So um, the process for evaluation for the well proposed by the geophysical team is currently continuing along with the arrival of technical staff from the United States and Canada uh, eager to complete equipment. We're eager to complete equipment inspections and run downhole for the final completion phase. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Hopefully it won't take too long. To, uh, and also they're, <clears throat> you know, they're actually meeting with um, with the Israeli government and uh, and observing our crew at a key stage of operations look forward to our uh, supervisory committee meeting with the israeli government along with local municipalities so why are they meeting with you know the israeli government why are they meeting with them um, if they don't have anything so that's kind of my opinion so hoping that's the case uh, we'll see kind of how it plays out but um you know finally heard something from them that's good figured it was coming soon because it's been so long that we haven't heard anything is uh you know, just kind of wait longer now. <laughs> so let's take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us. All right, guys, taking a look at Zion All and Gas, ticker symbol ZNOG. Just got a buy signal on the four hour. Uh, your low in this time period was 0.098. Your first level of uh, resistance is about 16 cents. And really, if we can get above there and hold, that's going to confirm a longer term reversal and uh, move to the upside so we have about 16 and 21 24 28 and then 31 here and then 30 we'll call it 39 at the very tip top of the fib level here so which is actually about to change again um well it's going to be pretty close because this is going to go away here shortly and this is going to be the high basically again so uh, we did get a buy signal but we need some volume we're currently not a whole lot of volume coming in Maybe once the word gets out that we have an update, people will get excited and uh, start running the thing back up a little bit and kind of starting a trend. So key thing for them is if they can continue to update us and give us information, that's going to help uh, the market correct itself. If not, then we'll have a little spike up to like 15, 16 cents, and then we'll fall back down. But hopefully, like I said, uh, they'll have some type of news from these meetings and uh, testing and things like that fairly soon. As you see, it's starting to rise um already so i think we'll probably hit maybe you know 14 15 cents over the next couple of days at least off of some type of anticipation people coming in buying um but anyway so let me know what you think of the news uh, i'm excited that they updated us it sounds like things are still going well although still taking a little bit longer uh, than expected but um you know at least it wasn't bad news so looks like things are still kind of moving in a positive trend so all right guys let me know your comments below other than that we'll catch you in the next one